News Watch starts now. Good evening. This past week's terror attack in Edmonton has sent shockwaves around the world. The events of last Saturday brought the threat that violence can happen close to home. Our Alicia Johnson talked to Nate's students firsthand to see how this event is affecting them. She joins us live from the South Lobby with more on that story. Thanks guys. Not only did last Saturday's attack shock Edmontonians, it sent a range of emotions across the city that we can still feel today. We have multiple crime scenes uh, as well as... Uh, Late last Saturday, EPS search. Officer Constable Mike Chernick was hit by a car, sending him flying five meters through the air. The attacker proceeded to get out of the vehicle and stab the officer before fleeing the scene. He then proceeded to drive a U-Haul truck down Jasper Avenue, hitting and injuring four pedestrians before the truck flipped onto its side, coming to a stop. The incident was the first of its kind in Edmonton to be unofficially labeled a potential act of terrorism. I'm pretty devastated that it would even happen in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a lot to worry about. People are going out to have fun and they have to worry about that. I'm going to show like, how people are cruel to the world and how they... I feel very bad for us, for, for the people who are common here, for the policeman who was stabbed, and I feel very unsafe at that time. Uh, it's making me feel rather uneasy. Yeah, uh, it's just, I just cannot imagine that it would be this close. You think of terrorism as far away, but it's actually closer than you think. It, it sucks, but I'm still, I still feel safe. I still feel like the city I mentioned does a fine job at policing. Um, uh, you can't let it bother you, and that's, that's pretty much it. Although many students feel uneasy about the recent terror attack, psychologist Dr. Gans Ferenc stated it is completely normal to feel this way. He tells us how exactly we can take control of our fear. One of the things that I think is really important to recognize is that uh, you have to understand where this behavior comes from. So when, when people are disturbed or troubled or they're angry or whatever it is, they are lashing out and they're lashing out out of fear, out of ignorance, out of insecurity. And so it's important to understand that and because if you can do that, then it, you can almost have a little bit of compassion for somebody who's having a hard time. When you do that, you no longer have fear because it's almost more like pity or or um, sorrow for this individual who's having a hard time. It takes away the fear. The Edmonton terror suspect, Abdullahi Hassan Sharif, was previously ordered to be deported by U.S. immigration officials, but made a successful asylum claim in Canada. He has been charged with five counts of attempted murder, five counts of dangerous operation of a motor vehicle, one count of criminal flight causing bodily harm, and one count of possession of a weapon. Constable Mike Chernick has made a full recovery and two out of the four pedestrians hit have been released from hospital. Alicia, what can people do to get back to normal after an attack like this? Well, Dr. Gans Ferenc said it is important to connect with people that have different views than you. This can help everyone feel like they are included and have been heard. Alicia, what should people do if they're still feeling worried about the attack? Well, it's important to get active, so you can do things like donate blood, donate food, or do little random acts of kindness, and this can just help you feel like less of a victim. Thanks, Alicia. That's our Alicia Johnson reporting live from the South Lobby.